Good evening everyone. In today's video, we are gonna go over uh, some of the methods uh, that allows us to acquire the holy or even um, uh, shadow immortals. So if you're looking to get an immortal like Manco, Kapak, Bjorn, Siegfried, oh yeah, even uh, this guy, Tutankhamun, whom, for instance, this guy, I have very little knowledge about, um, haven't really been up against him. I mean, um, what's interesting about all these immortals is that they aren't that commonly used. Why, you know, if you are seeking to break the meta, um, there's really a lot of potential to acquire one of these guys and, like, try to work them in in some sort of hybrid builds. Um, for instance, that's what I'm going to do um, if we take a look at uh, Himiko here. This is the Shadow Immortal I am going to focus on and going to put all my efforts into acquiring and maxing out. Because then I'm actually going to transit from a Wind-Earth hybrid onto a Earth-Shadow uh, hybrid. If it's going to be only with Himiko or if I'm going to acquire an additional Shadow Immortal, we will see. Um, but yeah, uh, the f like one of the events uh, that allows you to acquire it is actually uh, around my server right now, and that's uh, Theus Roulette. And basically how this event works is just that you can, uh, in the shop with gems, you can uh, purchase uh, the uh, spinning rewards, or you can uh, <clears throat> yeah, also spend real money and uh, get a significant uh, amount of tickets to uh, yeah run the wheel basically and what uh, like it's quite nice rewards in this however it is also very expensive um i will i mean sure if you have the money you can quite early on a server just go ahead and really max out on this wheel and hereby quickly acquire one or two shadow or holy mortals that will really put you ahead on your server, I would believe. Yeah, it's different immortals uh, that you can uh, gain through Theus Roulette. Um, even Himiko, who I'm going for, I could really focus on and uh, yeah, just uh, spin the wheel. <clears throat> and But yeah, you really need to run significant rounds in order for that to be... Uh, to be beneficial for you. So yeah, as you can see, some of the packs here, like it really gets expensive for say 45 raffles. It's 399 Danish crowns, which is like, I think around $50. So yeah, that uh, that is one way to go about it. However, um, something that I was a bit curious about now, having you know started on a fresh server was that you in the uh, purchasing uh, shop for a few days now we have this bundle of pearls event going on which if you aren't familiar with it this makes kind of no sense as you're introduced to an item here that yeah you haven't seen it in an event you wouldn't exactly know what worth it is but yeah it's these frosty orbs and um it's something like it's an uh, item that you basically want to use in an event called Sparks of Galaxy, which is a second uh, event that allows you to acquire Shadow or Holy Immortals. And uh, this is really the event that I have been like super keen on, um, like on coming around. Like I'm really just patiently waiting for it. And that's why you can see now that I have actually 210 of these frosty orbs because I've gone ahead and just purchased like most of these smaller packs uh, whenever they were around um so yeah as you can see like there is no event that go by the name um sparks of galaxy in my calendar but if i uh, take you on to my uh, other account my main which is in uh, season two then you will actually be able to see the events. So um, I'm going to start doing some tracking as to when the events are around, because this might be cross-server dependent. So not dependent on the age of the server per se. Like, say, some events might uh, start when the week is exactly one month old. 
but this year might be on a monthly rotation. However, our server being uh, so young, it's just basically not eligible for Sparks of Galaxy event. So as you can see, here it is that uh, in this one, we have a uh, secret. And similar to uh, Stellar Compass, uh, you're actually just uh, refreshing. And as you can see, you can get the full Immortal, you can get shards, you can also get schematics or the Shadow Dragon Crystals. And yeah, basically what I'm going to do just now is to try and uh, see... Like I'm gonna just, I don't have a lot of gems on this uh, account, but we're just gonna go ahead and buy 15 Frosty Orbs. Uh, run a few rounds on it, and uh, let's see how much uh, we're actually gaining from it. So yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, nothing in particular here. Because basically what I want to do is get some sort of an uh, overview of the statistics, um, like how many frosty orbs do i need um, kind of to get a full schematic and max out one uh, shadow immortal because as i mentioned my plan is to max out himiko and then i will look into what other shadow immortal i should acquire so i'm basically just going to max out one um, at first and then we're going to build up and uh, if we take a look at these Box of Galaxy event now, um, I'm going to just uh, pull up an Excel sheet here. If we just consider the uh, kind of drop rate from what we just did here, I've already gone ahead and thrown in the numbers. Um, then you can see that the chance for obtaining each item is listed on the uh, right side here. Which can kind of give us a basic overview or estimation as to what the fixed uh, drop rate is. So this is a guessing game for me at the moment. It's just to get an S, like a like qualified guess as to uh, how many, yeah, uh, frosty orbs I need in order to say get the full immortal, but also just the uh, the five P shots. Um. I have added a column here, lock rate, that just uh, identifies that I was quite a bit more lucky than I'm supposed to say that we estimate this to be a 5% drop rate. Then I actually had an 8% drop rate, giving me a 66% increased luck. But yeah, if we just uh, go statistically on it, setting the lock rate just at 0, so 100%, um, then... Basically, um, yeah, you can see here that we would only get one shot from 100 horoscopes. We would get five of these um, epic immortal five shots. And we would get four of the three-piece schematics. So just summing that up in order to uh, max out, if we go to take a look at an immortal star, we need in total 1,020 shots to... Uh, basically max out our uh, Shadow Immortals. And um, yeah, quick shout out to Mirak for just providing a nice overview of this. Um, but yeah, so we need to gain 1,020 shots. And that is basically um, equivalent to uh, getting 12, like using 1,200 horoscopes. Which is quite a lot. Um, this is, have in mind that uh, we will be actually acquiring more than two schematics um, once we uh, finish up this number of rounds. And then basically say we are a little unlucky that we actually aren't um, yeah, statistically getting exactly what we want. We might be looking at, say, 1300 horoscopes to use. So... That is basically the main reason if we uh, go back here to um, to the game that you can see me already now, even without the event being um, available to us, I'm already starting to acquire a ton of these frost jobs. So if we take on uh, a second, and you can also see I'm not the only one actually, if we go ahead and look here, Lightning has started buying bundle of pearls. So you have myself, Young Jump. Um, what else? Mad Cats, I can see, has bought some bundle. Who else? I believe Daisy Cake probably also bought a few. But yeah, 
we are quite a few guys who are already now starting to uh, save up for the uh, Sparks event. And yeah, <clears throat> so again, these are the small packs available that I'm buying daily. Um, it's over the course of three days that you can uh, purchase uh, these bundles. So make sure to just the second you start seeing them around, at least buy these the smaller packages because there's like so much uh, value in them. I mean, the this 129 kroner, which is like a $15 pack, it's fine. Sure, if you can spend, like if you can afford it, spend it, but yeah. So yeah, you can even see that now, 267 uh, Frosty Orbs. I'm actually, I think I might even... Uh... So yeah, I would definitely actually stick to the uh, smaller packages. That's uh, actually it for this video. Uh, so yeah, please guys, uh, and uh, keep following along. Uh, like and subscribe my videos if you like the content I'm uh, creating here. Take care guys, and uh, yeah, see you around. Bye.